Just wanted to make a quick video for everyone sharing a product I've been using for a while from Grip Studs. These are screw-in traction studs. The part number today is going to be GST-1610. I'm putting them in a set of Camso R4S tracks on a 2012 Honda Rancher 420. Um, I've been using these for years. I've had them in motorcycles, tractors, four-wheelers, everything else. Um, what I like about these is they're actually a carbide core, so they last a long time, even on road crossings and going over rocks, where your older style cold cutters like these, they'll end up getting rounded off, lose their sharp edge if you go across a lot of roads or spin on rocks and whatnot. These are a couple grip studs I've had in three different set of motorcycle tires on two different bikes with hundreds of miles down the road. They still have nice sharp carbide cores in the middle. Um, you'll see a little bit of road or rust from the road salt and whatnot, but I've never pulled one out. They have a really aggressive auger style gripper that's gonna lag its way right into the rubber. Um, like I said, literally never had one pull out. But I also wanted to show you real quick how simple it is to install these. Um, I like to just use a cordless drill with the bit. You're going to put those in the detents like that. One trick I've learned, I like to put my auger point right at about 11 o'clock and I have little dimples in my tracks just the way they were manufactured to show me center. So if you don't, maybe put a little sharpie mark there or something, but I like to put that right at 11 o'clock. Give a little pressure, nice and easy. And you'll, you'll find the, the sweet spot of how far to go in or how far not to go in. I like to get them close and then use this tool. This is again from Grip Studs. Put those right in there, get it lined up close. I like to use a straight edge. Could be a ruler, could be anything. I just happen to have this little piece of aluminum. I lay it across the, the block like that and try to get it as close as I can. What I'm trying to do is if this is the top of your tire, take this shoulder and get it as close as I can. Um, doesn't have to be perfect, but the closer the better. I like to get as much sticking out as possible without running everything else into the ground. And just to show you again, put that right in there. Get, like I said, I get my auger right at about 11 o'clock. Um, everybody might find their own tricks, but I've noticed that if I do that, a little bit of pressure. It just tends to be nice and center. And it doesn't have to be perfect again, but the closer to center, the stronger it's going to be. So again, roughly 11 o'clock. Try to get a side view here. Running in close. And like I said, if it's not perfect, Get your hand tool or use your drill, put it in a little further, back it out a little bit. Um, I like to fine tune them after I've done a couple and get them all lined up. Try to get a close up for you, see if you can see that better. But they go in super simple. And like I said, I literally got a little cheat mark in the middle of every one of these. So I just line it up, put a little back pressure, and they go right in. If you guys have any questions, you can ask me in the comments. Um, I'd be happy to answer them there. If you guys want to see something on video, I will happily do a video response. If something wasn't uh, super clear in this video, just let me know. But hopefully this helps. Again, try to get you a nice shot of this. Uh, the specs on these are going to be uh, 18 millimeters of penetration, which is going to be from this shoulder to the tip of here, and then 3.8 millimeters of prominence, which basically means you got 3.8 millimeters sticking out of the track into the ice or ground. All right. Thanks, guys.